Okay, so in, in the big book, it talks about step 11, conscious contact with God. So how does that relate to being in silence or stillness of the observer? Well, the 12 steps is at a vibration of unconditional love, but it's not really a text on enlightenment and dissolving the ego completely. So the prayers tend to be very dualistic and it doesn't really, the big book doesn't really expect you to become enlightened. Even though if you did a few of the things in the big book, it's possible to become enlightened, but in general, it's not a text for being completely um, liberated. So often in step 11, it says we, and like in the big book, we'll say we will sometimes make conscious contact, but we will not always be in that place of, of, of um, God's intuition. And uh, step 11 says we pray and we meditate to have conscious contact with God. So it's very much a system that expects you to sometimes get glimpses of the oneness of the stillness of the observer, but expects you to be in your head most of the time and getting glimpses of that. So, um, so you pray and you meditate and you get, you get into these states of oneness of flow or timelessness, and then uh, you might drift back off into the thinking again. So that would be the 12 steps. Um, if you wanted to, uh, um, if you just focused on um, being out of thought, so you use the 12 steps, instead of you substitute the word alcohol for thinking, uh, then you'd probably get a, a text which is more powerful in just uh, the end goal being being in, in that which is beyond thinking, which would be the oneness you see. So that's the thing of how I'd say, so conscious contact, it's a text where it expects you to be in your head a lot of the time. I mean, you could argue that if you're in service nonstop throughout the day out of your head, or if you're meditating nonstop throughout the day, you could, or if you're just practicing being out of your thoughts in the present moment all the time, it could take you to enlightenment. But there's a lot of stuff in the big book which expects you to be back in your thinking. So it's not quite as radical as self-inquiry or some of uh, Hawkins' uh, advanced works. Okay, I'll stop there.